All right, time to do a cutting test. I actually did one already. This went through in two passes, uh, but my camera died, so I'm gonna shoot it again with my iPhone here while the battery's charging. Uh, while I've got the air assist hooked up, I just wanna point out that the line feeds into the machine and there's a neat little dust cap here to keep dust and debris out if you're not using the air assist. So, okay, so I have this set to five millimeters a second, 100% power with three passes. Uh, depending on where the wood is and uh, what the grain direction is, I can get through in two sometimes, but I'm going against the grain on the long runs here. So let's just set it for three passes and see if we can get through. And then we'll see what the quality looks like. Hopefully I'm not overlapping some other cut or attempted cut. If you see this one right here, that was two passes. It didn't quite cut through on the top and bottom here uh, against the grain. So, of course, it, cutting is very wood dependent, depending on the type of wood, the tightness of the grain, uh, the direction of the grain, you know, so it's hard to say, oh, this laser can cut through uh, 100 millimeter material or one millimeter material. It really depends on the wood and the direction of the grain and things like that. So if it takes two or three passes to get through something thick, that's what it takes. And this is the second pass. You can see the blue light clearly in the bottom. That means it's getting through. But let's just let it go ahead and run on the third pass. It's looking pretty good. It's clean. It's not burned on top. No evidence of any real charring or anything like that. So this is almost done once it gets uh, back to the home position. I can already tell it's cut through. It's dropped out. So there it is. And look at the cut. It's very clean. It's not black. It's very uh, light brown. If you were, if if that was a finished edge, all you'd have to do is barely tap that with some sandpaper. So uh, this Cruelty Falcon 2 Pro cuts through at least 11 millimeter uh, material easily, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this cutting test.